everybody, it's Clint from Thousand Needles in Red. Just wanted to say a big thank you to everybody out there who's supporting us through MySpace, Facebook, uh, who's come to the shows, who's supported us by buying a CD or, or a T-shirt. Thank you so very much. It's great to have you there, and we really appreciate your support. We hope to see you again really soon. Take care. Big love. All the best. To those of you that are new to the band, we hope you enjoy the music and the listening experience that is Thousand Needles in Red. It's taking over. Guitars for I suppose it's a for me it's a new beginning. It was it was signing off on all on every song I'd ever written or every, any riff I'd ever written and starting again new, but keeping it simple. Six years, seven years later, Triz calls me up and says, hey man, uh, I've got some demos, do you want to have a listen to them? I said, yeah, that'll be cool. And so when I heard them, it was uh, pretty much the love at first listen. I really thought that it had a great energy and a really cool focus, and that's what I wanted to be a part of. The Excelsior enjoying a frosty beverage. This happens to be the Draft. Cheers, Trizzo. We endorse drinking beer. Dylan, stick your head in. Say hi. 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 Um, the songs came together pretty well. We wrote everything over Skype and email, and it's amazing what you can do with a couple of laptops and a, <laughs> and a trusty old microphone. So that's how we demoed for the first six or seven songs. My first trip to Sydney was was eventful and uh, very productive. We got down probably the five EP songs, five of the EP songs, and um, worked on a couple of new ones, which will be appearing on the album. So that's uh, that's how we started writing songs together. Our first gig at Villanusa on the 5th of March was uh, really good. It was amazing to step up there um, with Trizzo and, and Phil and Pablo. Uh, the first time, the first gig for Thousand Needles in Red, really felt great. Felt like you know the, the wheels had been finally put into motion um, on the gigging side of things after a uh, after what seemed like we wouldn't actually get there um, with a quick lineup change, and we finally got to roll out on the fifth of March at Villa Noosa, at Noosa, Noosaville in Queensland, which was amazing. So that was a really nice thing to do. <laughs> That was the I'm going to the bar to get a beer interlude. That was the seven inch mix. He's a healthy boy. It's great working, it's great working with my bro. You know, to have someone in the band that you want to work with so closely and, and someone that understands where you're going and always we're working for the good of the song. 
it's never about the ego, about how to you know how to shine in an area. It's how to draw the best out of the, the chords that we're playing, how to draw out the best of the emotion in the song, how to deliver that in a direct, direct way, I guess, that what? translates and transcends just, you know, just the audible noise barrage, I guess you'd call it. You know, we're really trying to layer the songs and texture the song so that it's accessible for everybody. And I think that's the most important thing about music because it's an intangible thing that gives you such a tangible um, response, an emotional response. And that's what I think music is, and that's why I love this, because I think it delivers in that. Welcome in, guys. It's great to have you here. Um, a thousand needles, and is that a thousand needles in red, or just thousand needles just in red? Just thousand needles in red. Really? Yeah, that's all we have. Different approach. Yeah, very refreshing. Nice. Very dark. It is. This is a nice, uh, very spacious uh, backstage area you got here. I'm impressed. Living at large. It's like you know, starting with Avatar. Yeah. Where do you, where do you go from there? Where do you go from there? You know, we, we started with uh, Clerks. Really? I like it. <laughs> Gigs have been good. We're um, finding our feet live. Yeah, they've, they've been good. I'd, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that's come out to the shows and, and supported us. Um, it feels... It feels real now. Uh, myself and Clint have been working on this this band for almost 12 months, and uh, you can go and record with Jay Bomgunner, you can go and do this and this, but it's it's not real until you're playing shows with real people, and we've just started doing that, and thank you because it, it is feeling real now. You guys are buying T-shirts, you're buying CDs, you're writing in on MySpace, and it it, it feels really good. I feel honoured to um to be in this band.